Welcome, and thank you for joining me on this walkthrough of our newly launched Query Hub feature within the validation portal. As part of SBTI Services' ongoing commitment to enhancing your experience of the validation process, we've been listening to your feedback and analyzing your workflows to identify opportunities to make the validation process more efficient and user-friendly. The new integrated Query Hub is designed to address points of friction, all while providing greater transparency and control. Here's how the Query Hub translates to a better experience for your team. First, process transparency. With real-time status tracking, you'll know that your question has been received and be alerted to SBTI Services' response. Second, everything lives in one place. Your questions and responses sit side by side rather than in lengthy email chains so you'll never lose your context again. Third, document sharing has been made simple. Need to provide additional files? Upload them directly to your query thread. Fourth, enhance collaboration. Save drafts, let your teammates contribute, and ensure everyone stays informed. Here's a quick overview of how the Query Hub works. Initially, you will receive an automated email informing you that updates are required in the validation portal to continue in the validation process. Once you log into the portal, navigate to your active submission. Progress through the tabs until you find open queries which are on the query pane within each tab. Wherever there are open queries from the SBTI Services Review Team, the pane will be highlighted red. Click on the expand arrow to open the queries pane. Once you're in the hub, you will be able to respond to queries submitted by the SBTI Services Target Analyst who is reviewing your target or targets. To do this, click the Reply button, type your response, adding any links where needed. On each tab, you can also attach documents to support your answers by clicking the Upload File option. Ensure the file is visible after uploading and that it refers to the associated query or queries. Please note that unsupported file types will be rejected automatically. If you don't want to send your response straight away, click Save Draft and you or a colleague can come back to it later. Your draft replies are not visible to SBTI services. Only one company user can edit a single draft at a time, but you can edit drafts saved by colleagues or consultants from their accounts and save the updated draft. Or, if you're ready to share your response, click Post to submit your reply and or supporting documents. To see new drafts or posts made live by your colleagues, minimize and reopen the query pane. Please note, once posted, replies are visible to SBTI services and cannot be edited. Need to revisit a resolved query? No problem. Simply locate the resolved query at the bottom of the queries pane, click Reopen, Add a new comment to explain the change. Once all queries are answered, you can send your full response, including updates to your submission form entries. To do this, navigate through the tabs ensuring all are in the confirmed state and all queries are responded to. Click Submit on the Terms and Conditions page to send the response to SBTI services. Please note that if any queries are unanswered, the submit button will remain disabled. And that's it! With these new features, you'll be able to see and respond to all queries from the SBTI team in one place, giving you a smoother validation experience. Thank you for watching, and for more support, click the Help widget in the Validation Portal.